back to another one of my Red for JS Today series. Today we're looking at the MIDI Velocity Scalar and Compressor. Another fairly simple but very useful sort of plugin. So this one's got four controls. You've got the input channel that it will apply to. So if you have it on zero, it'll apply to every channel. Otherwise, it'll be a specific channel. You've got a scale factor, which is a multiplication. So hence you can go fractional, which will make the velocity lower and you can go into ones where it will make it louder by going greater than one. You've got a volume offset which will basically it will either raise or lower the volume by affecting the MIDI velocities. You've also got a dry wet mix knob at the bottom. So to demonstrate this if we play a, a, our usual drum beat so if I take the scale factor and go to the left, that's going to make it, that's going to make it softer. And you might ask, well, why do it that way then? As compared to rendering it out and then just adjusting the volume. And that's a good question. And the answer to that is that, say, acoustic drum libraries, they'll use different samples of different velocities. So it's actually going to sound different scaled up or down in velocity than it will if you just change the volume of the rendered sort of version. So for the volume offset, that's actually going to either subtract or add a number to the velocity. So you can go all the way back to minus 127 or all the way up to to plus 27. So if you want to change each velocity by a constant amount, very easy way of doing it. So there you have it, that was the MIDI Velocity Scalar and Compressor. Again, very useful and you could certainly use it for things for example, like we were talking about the other day, if you're using multiple parts off the same set of MIDI, you could put a velocity scalar and compressor on one of the tracks that needs to have higher velocity compared to the others and not have to maintain two sets of MIDI. So I hope that was useful and look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the next one.